Yay. Just okay, starting recording now. started. Wow. This is a momentous hey. occasion. Hey. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. This is, uh, let's see, I've got exactly what this is up at the top of this document here. This is the first ever free EVO Minecraft MOOC 2022. One day conference on, lang on language learning. This is the first ever conference on language learning in Minecraft. I can see at the top of the screen, we have a lot of visitors here. I can see that Dakota is here. Uh, Dakota is online in this document, so he might be able to figure out where to go. This is the event that we're starting right now. It's, um, there's a lot of information to this document. This is the portal that I'm looking at right now. There's a tag in case you want to tag anything for this conference. It's EVO MC 22 conf. And the tag for EVO Minecraft MOOC is EVO MC 22. And anyway, this is all the information about the conference. And this is the, the portal you're looking at now is right here. It's a bit.ly link for EVO MC 22 CONF conf. And uh, I'm not sure if you can Google it. Uh, there's a program that's right now, that's the operative thing. There's lots of instructions here for how to register for the conference and all that. But anyway, let's just get right to the program and talk about what we're doing right now. So um, this is the link that's not working in Facebook, these shorteners. Facebook puts all this junk at the end of links. Have you noticed that in your Facebook links? Have you noticed sometimes you get junk code and- Yeah. Have either of you noticed that? Anyway, so sometimes these shorteners, they're bookmarks within a document. If you link to the document, the junk code doesn't matter. But if you're going to a bookmark in the document, it doesn't always pop out at the right place, but it takes you to the top of the document where you can go to the table of contents for the bookmark. So this is what we're doing right now. We're, uh, this, is, this is the conference we're starting. It's midnight UTC right now, and we are uh, we're expecting Dakota Redstone to show up. And we have myself, Vance Stevens. I'm the lead moderator of EVO Minecraft MOOC. And the organizing committee is me, Jane Shen, Bobby Bear, AKA Barbara Stevens, and Katrina Marie, for whom it is very terribly early in the morning right now, maybe even midnight, I'm not really sure. Although we could, we could find out, uh, this is a very navigable document. All of the times are all the time slots are marked here. So if you hit a time zone, you'll see the time where you are. So if we want to find out what time is it in San Francisco right now, where Katrina is, well, it's actually only four in the afternoon. Okay. But anyway, she could be working or something like that. This is always the, the problem. This, uh, this is a working day. It's February 8th, 2022. And that's a working day. Okay, so anyway, that's what we're doing right now. We're going to be here until uh, 50 minutes after the hour. Actually, we're just coming up to the top of the hour right now. We just started the recording. We're in Zoom. The reason we're in Zoom is though, so that uh, when we share our screens, we can share Minecraft. Me, I like to share a Minecraft and a map. Yeah, I usually put the map over on this side. But I like, oh, there's Dakota. He's, can you let him in, Bobby? Yes. Okay, so Dakota's just joined us in Zoom. And let me just briefly run down what we're about to do. This is it now, on this hour. One hour from now, we're going to the VSTE server. He, he's now, in now, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. So as soon as he's there, we can, say, we can get him to say hi. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with the spiel because I wanna have plenty of time for the train ride later. And um, so the VST event, which happens one hour from now is on the VSTE server, which is an anomaly. All of the other events are either in Zoom, or they're all, this is a conference in Minecraft. We're always in Minecraft, here we are in Minecraft. It's dark outside, someone fix that. Okay, so, uh, Anyway, we're going over to the VSTE server for their Minecraft Monday, an hour from now. It's going to be streamed from uh, Minecraft. And so there's, there's a YouTube stream link. So the YouTube stream links are unique if we're going directly to Minecraft. 
Otherwise, we're in Zoom. And uh, at 2 p.m. UTC, James York is going to join us in Zoom. And you can click on that link to get to his session. When you click on the link, you get a, a notice that says, click here to join the course. And you can click to join and go right in. And again, the, that's on the EVO Minecraft MOOC server. The only catch about the EVO Minecraft MOOC server, there's, there's its address, but you have to be whitelisted on the server. And uh, anything that's in Zoom is being streamed to Facebook. And that's the link to the Facebook right here. Okay, then one hour later, Robert Rimmersfall and Robert Bikes will pop into Minecraft and show us something in Minecraft. That again is on the Minecraft server. And uh, the uh, Discord is going to be um, streamed from Minecraft and on Facebook. No, and on YouTube, yes, it's like it's, we're streaming from Minecraft. So the link to catch that is over here. So in all these events, we have a break after that. Uh, then later in the day, Heike will be on for four uh, straight sessions. Then Jane will be here. Jane will also be in Zoom and on the Minecraft server. And Robert is here too. I just noticed that he's there, yeah. so we're gonna let him in. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. And then Walton Burns will wrap it up for us. Uh, he's going to be in Zoom as well. Those two are in Zoom, yes, Jane and, and Walton. So um, anyway, that's basically our conference. We have more time if anybody wants to schedule themselves, but they're gonna have to stream themselves or record it. They can record it and we'll add it to the archive. So that's basically about the conference. Have I pretty much covered the conference or does anybody have anything else to add? I think it sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Jane, yeah. anything else about the conference you'd like to add here? No, excited that um, about this conference. Um, Rob is here in Dakota. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? Okay, to Rob in Dakota, you want to say hi? This, we're very informal here. So if you're if you want to, you can just say hi. If Rob Remensfall is going to be uh, giving a presentation later, as I just pointed out. Okay. Just chime in anytime. Okay. So what I think we're going to do. Oh, Jane, we can't hear you. You're muted. Maybe you're ordering breakfast. Um, You're muted. That's in in the Zoom when they have like um, a red my on uh, their microphone. Does it mean they're they're muted by us? No, I guess not because no, no the they're muted. Yeah, they're muted. Um, uh -huh. yeah. um, Natty is getting um, password. I need to get get him password. Okay. Yeah, EVOMC. The password for all the Zoom sessions is EVOMC. Maddie has arrived. I've just we're here at this uh, mm -hmm. at this uh, uh, at this conference location right here. That conference location. This is this is our dynamic map that I've got up right now, and uh, you can see where everybody is on the dynamic map, which is kind of fun. And the dynamic map has a warp. Let me just run outside and I'll. Uh, Let's see, it's a safe time in the morning. Let me just see what's, what time it is. I, I was, I'm going to just reduce my screen where I can see the time. It's 10.30 in the morning. Okay, so we're in the dynamic map, and uh, this is where we are. We're in this uh, location over here. There's a ghost ship over on this side. Uh, all the sharing the map. Oh, I'm not sharing it. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, yeah. thanks. Welcome. Okay. Oh. Yeah. The inevitable glitches. It's so nice to have people though who can uh, who can fix me up. Okay, sorry about that. So I was not screen sharing, go. but I'm screen sharing now. Okay, I was showing you our dynamic map, which is you can see uh, where we are in the world, and we are right now in the conference venue, which is called Warp C O N F twenty two ship. Uh, Robert uh, Remensfall is there. 
Uh, he's giving a presentation later. Uh, we'll run it to his place and I'll show it to you because I can see the, the new from there. Uh, Matty is over there near uh, Robert's place. We are here in Minecraft. This conference is taking place in Minecraft. Uh, you can see from the top of the map, Matty is being admitted right now, okay. So you can see from the top of the map that um, um, there's a time that shows our time in the world. It's very convenient to have that information. I'm just popping over to Robert's presentation because when he comes on, he's going to take us over here and show us this place. Uh, this is where he's giving his presentation later on. But what I really wanted to show you was a nice view of the conference venue. So I got uh, motivated and made that. So if you, when you come in and out, please close the door because this is a, a kind of a nasty place. It's a bad neighborhood. Um, so anyhow, that's one of the three conference venues. Let me just pop over to the, uh, I'll show you the, the, I'll overview the three of them. They are all here. I've got a picture of all of them. Must be, uh, there we go. So, this is the one we're in right now. This is one of the conference venues. Its warp is a CONF 22 ship. Another one we're gonna show you in a minute is CONF 22. And that's a desert location, which this is a, a, a screenshot without the railroad. It's a, a Metro has been installed to convey us around this location. And uh, I hope Doc will be able to show it to us momentarily. And the third place we're going to have a conference presentation is one called Pagoda. Uh, here it is, Warp Pagoda. Let me just make that bold. Nice, it can be dynamic as you go. So that's where uh, Walton Burns will present our last presentation today. He's, he set up some things for us in there and we'll be using Zoom so that he can do as Jane is going to do later. Uh, they're both going to give us a little presentation slides and then uh, take us into Minecraft and show us more up close what we're doing. So if I go back over to Minecraft, back over to my map to show you where we are. Oh, somehow I hit Facebook there. Oh, I know because, okay, there we go. There's our dynamic map. Jane is much smoother when she segs between or screens. Okay, uh, does anybody have anything else to add? Nope. No. Okay. No. So. Oh, when you come in here, by the way, this is our this is our conference portal. Is we're in the ship place. You can go out and explore once you get here. But there's also some equipment here. So if you come without, uh, uh, we might need a few more swords for people. Okay. So there we go. Oh, there's a lot of food there. Okay, I'm just kind of organizing things. All right. So uh, if anybody needs any equipment, you can get it there. So we're hoping Bobby will keep that place stocked up. There's also another place we can go. Let me just show you. If you go over to Warp Sura, if you type in Warp Sura, that's the name of one of last year's moderators. And you go to, you take the, what it offers you, Sura 21 Spawn you go to our last uh, conference venue. And looks like someone else has just joined me there. Oh, Jane did, okay. So the trick to this place is to go to the last door on the left. Oh, oh sorry, last door on the left. That's this one right here, okay. Bobby had to show me this the other day. I was wandering all over the house trying to find this place. So if you go in the last door on the left, it's a Goodwill shop and safe house, all of this place is safe. Uh, you can find food, you can find armor, uh, you can find weapons and tools, things like that. So let's see, how can I get into there? Okay, yeah, so you can find more equipment there. So if you wanna pop over there, you could pop in there and pick up lots of items that you want. They're just there for the taking. I'll show you where it is on the map. Uh, that's over here. This is where we are right now. Okay, so Dakota is, we can see he's on his boat. He's on his ship. I, I presume he's going to join us in a minute. Okay, we have, me? yes, we can hear you. Dak, how are you doing? 
We never cleaned it. So we Pulling my hair out, getting balder by the minute. Oh. Trying to get it set up so I could share my screen. It's not working. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I oh, I can give you screen share if you want. Uh, but I was going to run it. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, let me hang on a minute. Let me give you a screen share. Well, I just when we get to the part where you wanted me to show things, we can try that. All right, that's okay. Let me go ahead and oh, maybe maybe Bobby can try right now. If you see if you can give Dakota co-host permission. If not, then I'll do it. Let's see. Okay, so anyway, that's where we are right now in our world. And, no, uh, I, don't, I don't think I can give okay. him permission. Maybe because okay, I'm I'll, a co-host. Don't worry I'll about just, it. No, that's okay. I'll I'll do it because otherwise, oh, I'll have to stop the screen share. Okay, when I stop the screen share, uh, I'll I'll do that. Okay, so um, so we've just worked over to Sewer's equipment place. So there's equipment in case you need it. It's dark outside. It's dangerous. It's not dangerous here though because we're in a this this area happens to be safe. So um, I'm in the right place. I think I went out the wrong door. There we go. Now I'm out front. Okay, Dakota is across the water over there. I don't know. Yeah, you can just underneath the moon. Dakota is over there underneath the moon. Okay, yay! Someone made it light. All right, you can on our server. You can sleep to make it light. You can also, if anybody sleeps, it gets light outside. So let me show you one more conference menu before I take you over to the desert location, and that is Warp Pagoda. So if you start typing in PA for Pagoda, you can see on the screen that you get a, this is how you bounce around to, from conference menus. So this is where, um, that's Maddie over there, it looks like. Okay, so there's a nice, Go to there, Maddie's going into water and finding some fish or something. He must be, he must have powers. Okay, so we're all over. Great, we're all over here. This is where Walton Burns is going to uh, give his presentation. So again, let me just show you where it is on the map. It's just, actually, it's just up the road from where we are right now. It's over here. Okay, so on the map, it's in our 2021 spawn area. So we have this place fairly well organized here. All right. And those are the three conference locations that we're using so far. I showed you Robert's place uh, where he's going to, Kum Kumarab is his uh, Minecraft name. And you can see people moving around in the, in the area there. By the way, if you go up the road over to this, this area, you can see my map, if you come up the road follow it to your east, you'll find some panda bears in here and there's sugar cane or cane with bamboo. You can cut the cane or the bamboo and you can feed it to, to the, uh, what did I say, panda bears or panda bears there. Where we, at the uh, conference the new we just were, there are polar bears in that. Okay, anybody else want to say anything? No, I think you got it covered, your, our part anyway. Probably, yeah. I, I like people when people talk and help me out to <laughs> add anything I might have missed. Okay, well, we just went to Sura. Sura's, uh, uh, her last year's moderator, the place that she sent up where she put all the equipment, if you need to go there, you can. Another place she set up is a desert village, and I want to show you that because uh, Dakota has uh, built us a, a metro there, and we're going to inaugurate it today. So let me see. I'm going to warp to the conference. It's Conf 22. We were at Conference 22 ship. If you want to explore a coral reef, there are other, lots of places you can warp to on our server if you just want to play around if you happen to be here. But to get onto the server for this one, I'm afraid you have to, uh, we have to get you to uh, whitelist yourself. So we need to whitelist you, so you'll have to register for the conference. Registration for the conference is, if you need to register, uh, that's the notes on conference attendance and registration. So that's where you register for the conference. 
if you want to get a flight list. If you just want to watch, you can just uh, hit the stream links. Get back up to my navigation. Navigation widget. Okay, open that. Hello, navigation. Yay, navigation. Okay, so back to the program. If you just want to watch, there are stream links. Right now we're streaming on Facebook. Okay, so let's go and see this other conference venue. We're already there. Okay, so um, I'm not sure if anybody really, you know, anybody, the, the people who give presentations can have them anywhere they want. So this just happens to be a venue that I opened. And uh, I thought it was a kind of a nice place. It, it looks to me like a Las Vegas conference venue. And as you see, there's a railroad up there, which could be a lot of fun. We have about half an hour to go play on the railroad. Um, that's the really nice thing about this location. Are you, should I give you the, the screen share, Dakota? Find on the map where we are. Okay, I'm gonna come over here to where we all are. We're all in this desert location right here. And let's see, Dak is with us. So I guess what I'll do, I'll just go ahead. You can see the, the overview here, which is really nice. Dakota has built not only a railroad, but he's also built this, uh, I call it a beach toil. I don't know, maybe Dakota has another name for it. It's uh, another venue. He'll explain what he's built for us here. You can see some entrances. There's an entrance down here. So if we go, uh, looks like if this is south in this direction. So if we go south from where we are right now on this railroad, be the easiest way, we'll um, we'll see what he's built over there. Okay, I'm going to stop the screen share. And also, Heike is here. All right, I just uh, admitted Heike. Okay, Heike was asking the other day if I could show her the. Uh, uh, the railroad, and so I'm glad she's here. So, I guess it hey, helps if I unmute my mic. <laughs> yeah, hang on, I'm gonna make you a co host. So, make you a co host. Yes, all right. So, Dakota, you are a co host now. So, if you want, you can share your uh, share whatever you want. You can share a whole screen, or you can just share your Minecraft window if you want. And we'll try to follow you around up there. Are you able so to hear me now? We can yes. hear you. Okay. The uh, stairs are over here by these uh, wooden steps. Okay. Uh, stairs so that, by the wooden steps. Like your screen on in Zoom, or are we gonna follow you in Minecraft? Um, I don't know which is easier from your point of view to follow Vance following my instructions or to follow me uh, using my it, view. It might be, it might be because it's gonna have to be in Zoom. So it's really up to you. Uh, I'm happy to ride the railroads and press the F5 key and uh, follow you around. Uh, let, let's try it that way. And then if you want to take the screen share, you can go ahead. So let me just, uh, I'll start the screen share again. And, oh, hello, let me get, okay, Zoom meeting. Okay, so this, this is what mine will look like. Uh, let's see, okay, make the screen where I can see, okay, so, oh, and I, I've got to make the screen sharing mouse over go away. Okay, so now I've got a screen share Oh, I'm just gonna adjust my windows here. Okay, screen share over here. That looks good. And back over to Minecraft. Here's Minecraft. Now I'm in Minecraft. Okay. So. So do you know to I'm come just, down these stairs? I'm I'm yep, going there. to. Yeah, you can see me in Minecraft now. And which ones? There's Bobby. Bobby, you know where to go? Uh, yes. D well, here's Dakota. Oh, there's he Dakota. Is. Okay. Yeah. Yep, there's okay. stairs going down, and at the bottom of the stairs, there's a chest with some uh, rail cars in it. And if you take a okay. rail car and put it on the rails. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
you can push oh, one I... of the buttons and start moving. Yeah. Okay. Or or someone else can push a button and you can start moving either way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Maddie just took a ride. Bobby is about to. She's getting a mine cart. She's studying which mine cart she wants. Yep. You <laughs> want to take one of the empty mine carts from the top couple rows. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And uh, you right click to get in the mine cart, and off you go. Whoa. There we go. Okay, that turns on the red switch. Dak is getting in. Okay. All right. And Jane, are you coming? Jane, do you know what to do? Okay, Jane. So get a minecart from there. Put it on the track. We... And we there you I go. Got... You got it. Okay, let me uh -oh. get a minecart. I need Let's to get I've out. Got one in my Oops. inventory. No, okay. So uh, yep, when you get to the other end, you just want to hit the left shift key to get out. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do because. Okay. So you get so out I'm and destroy gonna... the mine cart, or just leave yep. it there. Yeah. Uh, probably destroy it would be the easiest thing. Otherwise, some people might have some problems with bouncing. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yay. Oh, oh, Jane just took off. Okay. Oh, I just I just sent Jane off on her way. Okay, so now it's my turn. I guess. Yep, just start moving, Vance. I'm hitting the button for you. Oh, okay. Oh, so I have to go forward. Hang on, let me just get a forward view. Okay, there we go. All right. We're zooming up the track. And as I understood, we're going to the end of this, and then we will destroy the minecart. Okay. Should I make it daylight? Getting, yes, please do. Getting sunset. Easier to see. Okay. Uh oh, I think I destroyed some track while I was at it. Uh, we can we can fix it. No way. Yeah. No okay. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna. And then we work Dang. our way to the back of the building and up the stairs to the roof. Okay. All right. Someone turned on the lights. That was very nice. So back of the building, I see the building over here, climbing up the sand right here. And I see Bobby Bear there. We work our way to the back of the building. Okay, yep. be and then up the stairs. Set of instructions when we get up to the top. There's a chest with some carts. Uh huh. Okay. Let me see what uh, I lost everybody. Oh, I sorry, I didn't go up the stairs. I'm I'm just here kind of changing my perspective to see where everybody is. Uh, I don't up see anybody stairs? else. Oh here I am. Um, yes. Okay. Have, have you have you got uh yeah. up there? Yeah, up here, Vance. You see me? Okay. Yep, yep. I see I see where to go. I'm I was just looking for other people. I don't see anybody else. Up here. Oh, okay. Yep, and the track up here doesn't have any buttons on it. You just have to start moving on it, and you'll go slow until you hit one of the uh, sensor buttons, and then it will automatically power you and zoom you on. Okay, I'm having trouble. We keep going upstairs. We go further up the stairs, right? Yeah, there's a no. couple couple flights of uh, stairs. Okay, yeah, all right. So, um, okay, I see everybody now. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jane? Which cart? Which which side? Which side? Uh, Left. It doesn't or... matter. One track goes around the inside of the loop and then comes to the outside, and the other one goes around the outside. So you can go down either one. I think the one on the left goes around the inside loop, and so the one on the right goes goes around I like the outside. The, the outside right. It repeats. I guess if we went the same direction. That would be better because yeah if you go around the left one around the inside loop it will automatically send you to the outside loop on the second lap so yeah but would you run into a mine cart coming the other way uh shouldn't oh okay all right so jane off you go yay okay all right jane's taking out as soon as you hit redstone off you go the redstone track okay anybody else waiting to go um Bobby, you want to pop yeah. in? Yeah, okay. let me see. I already have a mine cart. Let's see. Just changing my perspective here. Okay. I'll get a cart.
And of course, you can uh, hit your left shift to hop out anytime you see something you want to investigate. Yeah, or if you get scared. <laughs> um, or, if, or if you have a see. problem with heights. <laughs> like, I'm going to pretend I'm a, a participant. What does this have to do with language learning? Why are we doing this? What, what, what's the point? I asked Maddie that uh, when he showed us his game. I said, did you have a purpose for doing this game? And he said, no, no purpose, which is actually well, the purpose of language learning, of course, is communication, but uh, communication is, yeah, that's what language is all about. So um, we're all communicating in this environment. We're learning new things. We've always, we've got these, uh, what do you call them, gap fills. You know, we're, we're constantly filling in, in each other's knowledge. We're sharing information with each other. We're learning how things work in a world where it's not obvious. And um, I don't know, anything, any other points you'd like to make? I always have a secret agenda, <laughs> whether it's obvious or not. Uh, uh -huh. if, if you get people to um, have tell fun. stories. Yes, for, well, there you are. Me, that's that's me, it. Mm -hmm. For me, all, all the education is about storytelling. Uh, mm -hmm. my, my theory is that uh, the species spent uh, eons evolving with oral tradition and the only way that knowledge was learned and passed on was through uh, uh, learning stories and then telling them over and over uh, mm -hmm. to, to pass on what you knew. Yeah and nowadays we have digital storytelling that's a big thing in language learning. And so to me uh, one of the, the fundamental uh, powers that games have uh, is to motivate learners to um, have new experiences and get excited about something, get passionate about something. And then, of course, the first thing you want to do is share that excitement with their peers. And there, mm -hmm. I can't think of any other more powerful motivating factor. And then if you combine that with your agenda as an educator, which is usually to get them to learn the thing that's on your syllabus, which is uh, in our case, language. Uh, if you can get them to combine this adventure in a new world with some sort of um, designed uh, exercise involving the new language you want them to pick up, whether it's uh, just talking about what they did or writing about what they did or using that new language in the new environment. Um, it, it just all scaffolds on each other. And to me, the, uh, the synergistic effect is, is magical and, and effective. Yeah, I think that's a very good encapsulation of the way I feel. Uh, oh, I just picked up the mind part. Oh, that was Maddie's. <laughs> I hit one and it's gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm creeping along. I've got yeah. So anyway, I think, and, I think there's a lot of other scientific study too about the way that we learn uh, neurologically, uh, developmentally uh, through play. Uh, I mean, you take young human beings. Uh, their first few years of life, uh, there's no school for kids that age. They just play and they learn what they need to learn during that era of development through play. It just happens. It's the way we're wired. Uh, and then when we get to a certain age, then uh, our society has decided, well, we need to step in and have some sort of organized education. And that may or may not be true. <laughs> I mm -hmm. would argue that maybe it's not, but um, we've decided that it is, and so we, we have an organized system of education, but I'm not sure that it's any more effective than play when it comes down to it, or at least properly yeah. organized play. There's, there's quite a lot about uh, disrupting education, uh, you know, the big disruptors, and well, there's been so much about that. Um, Edupunk. And I, and I think there's a lot of room for... Um, 
discussion at a lot of different levels there. Uh, but I think there's also room for a lot of play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on our screen share, we can see me riding the, uh, the Metro and uh, you can see all the other players where they are on the, on the screen as well. Yeah, so how, well, this is quite a lot of, I mean, what you've done is you've designed basically a, um, an environment where play can take place. And, and, and for me, mm -hmm. the act of doing it was not planned. It was just play for me. I mm -hmm. saw this area as an interesting place that had some potential for more things. So I added my own little addition to it. Mm -hmm. uh, that added some more capabilities, I hope, and <laughs> maybe you didn't wreck anything as far as anyone else was concerned. No. Uh, and, you know, it, it maybe opened some doors and some possibilities for someone else to add something else uh, and uh, have some more play occur. That's the really nice thing about Minecraft is that you can add to, you know, you can, it's a writable space. It, it's and a sandbox, yes. There yeah, no, it is. There are no rules, you're just playing. I, I think what Dak meant when he just said what he said was that you took this pristine desert build and threw a, you know, sort of like an overpass over it. And did that, is that detrimental to the aesthetics of the thing? I don't, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, the thing is, is it's all flexible. It's all, it's just silicon. So, you know, you can get rid of it if you need to, but why would you? But Still, the, the whole thing is, is that the creativity, the person's creativity and, uh, and initiative is quite valuable here. So that's the value Dakota has added, you know, is he's, uh, he's put something in that took this area, which is very attractive, but um, it still is attractive, but um, it's, uh, you know, now it, it has a, a more playground function. It's, it's more like an amusement park now. And that's that's part of the, the community and collaborative effort is that when you do something, you you pause for a moment and take a step back and say, is what I'm about to do, uh, well, it's always going to have an impact, uh, but you, you think about how is it going to have an impact and you try to be cautious that it's going to be of, it's going to add to rather than detract to other people's experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and of course, do something that if if it isn't something that other people want, that it's easy to alter or remove, uh, so that you can move forward. Uh, that you're yeah. you're collectively making something that's greater than the sum of its parts. Are there any other places you'd like to show us where you've created builds uh, or anything anybody would like to show us? Uh, we have, we've got Dakota here and we have about 15 more minutes because I, I need to go and get the VSTE stream. Dakota, I believe you're going over there, right? You're going to the VSTE, yeah. that's Virginia yeah. Society for Technology and Education. They do a Minecraft Monday every first Monday of every month, more or less every month. And um, so we're going to be popping over there in Minecraft. I'll be streaming to YouTube on that one. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to visit lush caves, a lush cave bi biome, um, which is something I hadn't heard about. Uh, so anyway, is there anything else? So, yeah, so she just joined us. Um, Who just joined? Uh, uh, yeah, so she, yeah, so she uh -huh. Rota, and um, uh -huh. we just wanted to let him know that we're in Minecraft in, in the uh, world. Okay, and we're streaming. We're streaming on Facebook. There's a Facebook link somewhere that shows you what, where we're streaming. Uh, it's my own personal page. Zoom is not allowing me. I don't, I think because I canceled all those, you know, sure, let me do this. I mean, you give Facebook all those permissions. I just um, uh, canceled all that. So it only lets me stream onto my own page. Uh, used to let me stream onto a, a group that I owned, but it doesn't let me do that now. So, but what I can do is once it's streamed, I can share it to EVO. I can share it to the playlist. But anyway, so right now it's streaming on my Vance Stevens Facebook 
vance.stevens.3 of all things. But you can see it there if you want to see what we're doing and you can't get into Minecraft. Um, and we're screen sharing here in Zoom. So if you're actually in Zoom, uh, you can see what we're doing. What, what's in Zoom is being streamed and also we're making a backup recording just in case in the event that something fails or when something fails. So anyway, it's an invitation. We have 10 more minutes 15 more, 14 more minutes, something like that. So is there, is there anything else that uh, we'd like to pop over and see on the server? We could do the leap of faith. Oh, um, I don't know if, if Dak, uh, if you have a warp for the pyramid that you built. Um, I don't know if there is one, but I can go there quickly and make one. You know, um, okay. I just Googled like the top 20 things to do in Minecraft and building a pyramid is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what about a dome? <laughs> oh yeah, that, that too, that too. And underneath um, like underwater dome. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, if I, okay, I'm gonna go up to these uh, towers here. Disembark and see if I can get down. You can TP to me, I'm down. Okay. Or, or you can uh, just warp or, to comp 22 as well. Yeah, that's true, that's true, yeah, so many ways to do it. Okay, I think anyway. people fell when they tried to leave. So uh, if you don't uh, want to. Yeah, okay. To put your death chest and stuff. What about that? Did you go to the pyramid? Maybe we could go with yeah, that. there's now a warp called Place Where Time Began, which is at the base of the steps of the pyramid. Okay, I'm just gonna TP to you. So I'm keeping over to Dakota, who is at the place where time began. And this is his pyramid. Let me just show you on the map where we are. Okay, so... If you start typing it and hit tab, it should auto-complete. You don't have to type the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Usually just get the first couple of letters and eventually it shows you. So, um, yeah, this is, this is right across from where we were earlier. Earlier, we were uh, at Sura's place, which is her spawn area. And we saw Dak on his boat. Now Dak is going to show us his pyramid, which he built. Was it, in, was it last year or the year before? I don't remember. I think yeah. it was last year, but I'm mm -hmm. not sure. But there are, there are two steps. I'll try to go quickly, which is hard. Yeah, I think it was last year. There are two sets of steps. The one on the outside goes all the way up to the top uh, and basically just lets you get to the top. It's hard to get to the inside because that's where the villagers are hiding. Uh, so if we quickly skeletons. go off the outside, we can get the better view from the top. Okay. So, all right. Oh, oh. So I'm letting in Yumiko Kudo to the... Yes, sure, why not? Hang on, I, my perspective is all messed up, okay. So I got lost. That's okay. You know, I can just TP people. Okay. Where'd they go? I'll just TP where, back. I thought they went down. I'll just TP you where they are. I'll leave. Quickest I'm way. At, I'm at the top now. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So we just went up the stairs. Deck did. He's up at the very top of this thing. Uh, I'm in survival just for fun. I could be in creative. Um, but survival gives me a it's hard to tell that you're on a pyramid when you're on a pyramid. I know. The views are very plain. Yeah. And it but looks if, like you're going to fall when you get to the edge. Uh, you definitely will fall. It's designed that way. It's a fortress. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, you see the bluebird? That's my pet. And it's followed us everywhere <laughs> today. That's great. Yeah, it's That's so cute. cute. I'm going to put it in creative so I can fly. Yeah. Just keeping an eye on the time. We have 10 minutes. I have to be very good about that because I have to get another stream started in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm, so going to, I'm going to fly down to the inside now rather than take the steps because it'll take too long. Okay. So anybody that wants to see the inside can now just teleport to me. Okay. All right. Okay, teleporting, teleporting to Dakota. All right. 
I, I often enter this pyramid by coming up the steps and there's a skeleton that lives at the top <laughs> and he almost always gets me. <laughs> yes, if, if you go behind the steps that we went up to the top, there's another set of steps underneath them. Mm -hmm. And part way up, there's a light that takes you to the secret entrance. But there's a whole village worth of villagers down here that have some good trades, but they live out mm -hmm. their whole existence here inside the pyramid where it's safe. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. I mean, I guess they really appreciate that. It's kind of like an animal in a zoo, right? It, they're safe, get fed every day. <laughs> but I guess these guys live pretty miserable existences. Does anyone have any questions in the audience? We could take questions. And then I'll go to another place outside. You can teleport to me to get a better view of what the thing looks like. OK. Okay. Dakota is going back up his trail, I think. Okay, teleport to Dak. <laughs> That's the fastest way. Yep, I'm at a, the top of the tree where you can get a pretty good view of what it looks like. Oh, nice. Oh. The better view of what it looks like if you set the time. Well, I don't know. I said it's a nice sunset view right now. Wow, this is beautiful. And of course, you can go into creative mode and fly around to get a better. Oh, well, let's take a group photo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wonder. I wonder if um, there's any questions from the audience um, or. People who just joined us. Are, yeah. um, are the first, you, are the you... first question is, yes, it was built one block at a time, although it was in creative mode mostly. <laughs> There's my bird. <laughs> OK. Um... OK. Hey, OK, one, two. Um, Desto, would you like to stand like next to me so that I can get a, oh, you're standing on top of me. So that's, Vance that's and good. Rob, are you, would you like to join us? And is Rob, is Rob, Rob are you here in the world? He's having some problems or something oh, with okay. Minecraft. Hey, Maddie, I mean, don't, don't go um, disappear. Like I haven't, okay, one, two, one. One, two, three. Yay. Thank you. Great. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Right. Well, basically, and there's no end of things in the world to explore. So even oh, though this presentation has yeah. to end, uh, and you can come yeah. in at any time and find somebody. Yeah. You know, I, in the in the view of the um, of the pyramid that I see over here, I see the Statue of Liberty, which is just. If you wanted, we could fly over there. We got a couple of minutes. Let's fly over the Statue of Liberty. It's directly to the. Um, I'm lost. I'm often lost when I. Okay. <laughs> you go to this. The okay, follow me. I will fly there. I'm going to the south. Uh, East, southeast. Okay, Wait, so. I don't know where you are. Okay. He's still in the trees. Yeah, I'm still in the trees because I'm I'm still oh. trying to get Minecraft going. Okay, so go towards the pyramid and hang a righty. Yeah. Okay. Go towards Please. the pyramid and hang to the right. Yeah, you could TP to Dak. Um, I'll TP to Dak. Yeah. Okay. So we're we'll gonna fly over to everybody. Let's see, oh, if you okay, press great. F3, you can, oh, here we go. No, which way am I headed? I'm going to the south, I'm gonna go more to the east, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go directly to the east, all right. I'm following, you see, I've got uh, an HUD display by pressing F3, and you can see on the map that I'm approaching the, uh, the Statue of Liberty. 
So what is this thing doing here? Now, what is this thing doing here, Maddie? Yeah, yeah, Maddie. I have um, no idea. <laughs> made out of waxed copper or normal copper? I made out of normal copper, so it would, um, yeah, turn green as time passes. Nice. Good choice. Yeah. yeah. Historically and here, accurate. <laughs> we have. When I shared this, um, like a screenshot of the Statue of Liberty, and um, like uh, someone asked me why, why is it, why isn't it green? Is it made of wood? And then I had to tell, tell him that um, it's made of copper. This was the original color when, when France um, sent oh, this no. to the U.S. Uh huh. Okay, so that's a really good trick in Minecraft to get it to turn green gradually. That's yeah. The tina, that's the tina. You have to have a special script for that, I would imagine. There, there's like one block that turned green. <laughs> but I guess it takes forever. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, let me do a quick outro. Uh, this is... Uh, I'm Vance Stevens, uh, Teacher Vance, as I'm known as. And we've got, uh, let's see, I see Matty flying around. We've got Jane Chien. Uh, and we've got Bobby Bear and Dakota Redstone. And we had uh, Kumarab or Robert Remesfell. And Heike was here, I thought, but I'm not sure she actually got into the game with us. Uh, did I leave anybody out? These were the people who are in world. Yeah, we're, we're with us here. We left out Steve. Steve. <laughs> Steve. Steve. Okay. And Steve's two friends sitting us. <laughs> anyway, okay. So we are, let's see, who are we? We're, uh, we're we've just been uh, introducing our new uh our conference, which is just starting today, just now starting. And it's the first ever free EVO Minecraft 2022 one day conference on language learning, the first conference ever in Minecraft on language learning. And uh, we have several sessions yet to go. We're gonna pop over to the VISTI server right now, the Virginia Society of Technology and Education. We're gonna do a Minecraft Monday starting in 10 minutes, 12 minutes. And uh, we're gonna pop over there. If you want to see where we are, the best way to do that is to go to uh, this link in the program. Let me see if I can find a navigation bar. Okay, so if you go to our conference URL, I don't know if you can Google it, uh, but anyway, it's a bit.ly link, EBO MC 22 conf. And then there's a table of contents there and you can follow what we're doing by finding the table of contents as I'm trying to do right now and find the current program and click on the current program and it takes you to where we are right now. And we've just finished that one. So we can get rid of that link because it's no longer valid. Okay, so we're at this place right now. And uh, if you're coming over there, it's in a different server, a different stream, there's a YouTube stream. So if you go over there, I'll be starting the stream momentarily. And also a different version of Minecraft so you need to restart your client. Thanks for pointing that out. That's right. They're in version 1.18. So you do have to reload the new version. Thank you for reminding me that. I'd better get over there and get that done. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks, Doc, for showing us around, for doing all these fantastic builds, and everyone else for joining us and adding their commentary. And we're looking forward to a really fun conference. You're welcome. So, it was just play. Yes, exactly. There yeah. you go. I'll see you, I suppose, over at Vesti. Thank you, everybody. Server. And I think I'm going to stop the recording. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, you Thanks. can stop the recording. And I'll stop the stream. Bye, everybody. Bye. Stop Thanks live for stream. joining, everyone. Okay.